Time Wonderland is dying and here's why. Wonderland co-founder is a fraud that disappeared and stole more than $169 million in his previous crypto project. I will uncover all we know at the moment. Why is Time Wonderland crashing? Who's Time Wonderland co-founder and why he's a fraud? Hey AV here. Today we're going over Time Wonderland and the incredible investigation that Zach XBT made. This needs to be shared at zero x Sifu is the co-founder of Quadriga CX, named Michael Patron. If you are unfamiliar, that is the Canadian exchange that collapsed in 2019 after the founder Gerald Cotton disappeared with $169 million. He confirmed this with Daniel over messages. Daniel Sesta, in case you don't know, is the founder of Wonderland. This is the conversation between Daniel Sesta and Zach XBT. Zach says, I came across something odd about that, about Sifu that he is the Quadriga guy. And yes, that it is very dangerous to work with him. So Daniel was aware of this, apparently. And somehow Zach XBT found out about this guy. Please follow Zach on Twitter, he uncovered all of this, he's the real deal. So Daniel is surprised that Zach found out. Prior to Quadriga, Michael helped run an identity theft ring called Shadow Crew in which he later pleaded guilty to. While Daniel insists it is fine, he puts both his reputation on the line along with most importantly, all the money people have deposited in his protocols at risk. So Daniel freaks out, he doesn't know what to do. He now has found the solution, but I will talk about this a little bit later. So Zach says you're willing to put your entire reputation on the line and also risk everyone's money. And Daniel says no. We can all agree that Daniel made a huge mistake working with Michael and that Michael is a big fraud. And Daniel has put everyone's money at risk. This is very disappointing from this crypto legend. And here we can see the transactions and that Quadriga ties back to Sifu. Since these tweets came out, the price of Time Wonderland is crashing more than 24% today. Then Daniel explains the situation. Today, allegations about our team member Zero X Sifu, also known as Michael the Fraud, will circulate. I want everyone to know that I was aware of this and decided that the past of an individual doesn't determine their future. I choose to value the time we spent together without knowing his past more than anything. We could all agree that with the past of Michael, this would not go well. Many people in the world are judged by their early mistakes. This comes prevalent into the life of ex-inmates that can't get access to financial services after being felons. Okay, but in this situation, no. The guy is known for stealing money. Daniel is putting everyone's money at risk with this decision to work with this man. One of the reasons why blockchain technology and DeFi is so powerful is that it has no bias about your past. I have no bias about at zero x Sifu. He has became a friend and part of my family, and if my reputation of judgment will be hit by his docs, then be it. All frogs for me are equal. That's why DeFi is wonderful, but a very risky place to put your money since you don't know who's behind a project most of the time. As I fight for him, I will fight for anyone else that has proven to me to be a good actor despite the past. I keep looking forward into the future rather than crystallize back. Hope you do it too. Michael stole more than $169 million and you're still working with this guy, putting all of your fans and users at big risk of their funds being stolen. This is truly unresponsible. So Daniel made a statement on the last Wonderland developments. Dear frogs and crypto community, I would like to issue this statement due to the occurrings of the last 24 hours. To summarize what has happened, Word came out that Sifu, who has been running the Wonderland Treasury, previously was a co-founder of Quadriga CX and has in other occurrences in the past. I found out about this one month ago. I am of the opinion of giving second chances as I have mentioned on Twitter. I've seen the community very divided about my choice of maintaining him as the Treasury Manager after finding out who he was in his past. Regardless, what has happened has happened. Now having taken some time to reflect, I have decided that he needs to step down till a vote for his confirmation is in place. Wonderland has the sage who manages its treasury not me or the rest of the Wonderland team. At least he took action, but this is one month too late. It is not easy to take this kind of choices who know me and had time to listen and follow my journey and if I can confirm that I have no bias for anyone. I have learned to give trust to people and to make my own opinions about them rather than just listen to the noise. This has led me to incredible friendships and also to dramatic ends, including love stories and friendships. This said, I have to lead this community by example and make sure that everyone can voice their opinions and not take just mine as a given. All funds in Wonderland are managed by a multi-sign. Any FUD related to that needs to be cut off now, as they are secured by me and the Wonderland team. Buyback will still happen and the team is working on deploying the products that we have mentioned it would need to be deployed. I hope the community now comes together and decides what the future looks like and who they want managing their money. I am here as the executor of your will and will always be. So Daniel decided that Michael known as Zero X Sifu on Twitter would now step down until a vote for his confirmation is in place. So hopefully, Everyone understands that Michael Patron needs to step down, not be part of the Wonderland team. So here we've got an interesting tweet by Nur. In 2005, he pled guilty to credit and bank fraud. In 2007, the Michael guy admitted burglary, theft, and computer fraud. In 2018, he and his partner supposedly lost access to $115 million in customer funds. I agree that inmates deserve second chances, but this is not about being convicted. 
Formerly Omar Danani, Michael Patron is a convicted felon who was arrested in connection with an online identity theft ring Shadowcrew.com in October 2004. And those are photos of him. So clearly, after all he's done, you don't want him to manage the treasury of time. Andre Cronge, who is partnered with Daniel Sesta for the V33 protocol, said that he still supports Daniel and he's still planning on working with him. But there are lines, a history of consistent fraud, theft, and malicious behavior isn't a mistake. That's intent. Having Sifu manage funds, especially user funds, can be argued as negligence. It's all I have. Then here's why he still wants to work with Daniel. Danny cares more about community and community building than anyone I've met in this industry. That's an area I am extremely weak at. He compliments me well in that regard. I'm sure he will make the right choices with regards to Sifu and move past this. Everything is cycles. In conclusion, if Sifu is still in the Wonderland team after the vote, then I would get out of Time Wonderland. Let me know in the comments if you're positive in the future of Time Wonderland or not. And personally, I still believe in Daniel Sesta. He's done so much for the DeFi community and hopefully he will learn from his mistake. Also, while everyone is talking about this fraud, he's taking all his profits. One more confirmation and Sifu will be able to execute two transfers worth four to five million dollars to his personal wallet. There are at least four Wonderland multisigs on different chains. At 0x, Sifu still controls at least one out of three multisig owners' addresses on the Ethereum mainnet. The last executed was a $30.7 million transfer to his personal wallet six hours ago. Might be a rug if proved otherwise. So it's concerning. So Daniel posted that you can vote to remove Sifu the Michael guy from the treasury. I've added the link in the description if you want to vote. Follow me on Twitter at Colin0x, I post new crypto gems on there every day. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and like the video to support the channel. And click on the notification bell to not miss any new videos. Thank you and see you in the next one.